Hello everyone. Today I want to show you three locations, one unmarked and two caves that give you very good armor, weapons, and valuable items. They are all close by, so you can hit them all in one go. I suggest that you put on the magic archer with the ricochet arrows. It's just going to make this so much easier. So let's start with the first location, which is an unmarked settlement. It does not show up on the map. It is here in the west side of Bathal. And you can get there if you are in Bath Bathal city. You can take the sky rope and then once you're at the center, you want to change it to the one that goes northwest and just rope your way all the way to the end. Once you get to the station, you want to go left and just follow this road all the way until it ends and you see this settlement. After you clear all the enemies, there's going to be one chest inside this room that gives you the final raw armor. It is an armor for the warrior vocation. I think it's pretty decent one. I know you can also buy it in Bathal for like 30,000 gold. But why do it when you can get it for free here? It is also pretty unique for those of you who are into the fashion dogma. I think this is a good look. So there you have it. That's one chest. There's going to be another chest in another room that's going to give you a fairy stone. And there are a couple of smaller chests around that you want to, you know, you want to open, get those as well. They're not particularly uh, hidden in any way, so it will be easy to see them. However, there are a couple of things that you want to get by going to the top. First, there's a Seeker's token just above the tent. So you want to go up there. And then in the corner, there's going to be another chest with a ring. I don't know how good this ring is, but, you know, whatever is there. Grab it if you don't want to use it, sell it, and there you have it. So this is the first location. We're going to go to the next two caves that are north of this location. We're going to go up the same road that we came in, but eventually, once we get close to the cave, we're going to have to go off road and on the side of the hill, there's going to be the entrance to this cave. This cave is pretty unique. Number one. Inside, you're going to find these uh, Saurians, but they have the spiky things on their backs. After you clear them out, the enemies are going to drop this rare resource called Ball Scale. And I think this cave is the only place that you can find these enemies and this resource. Good news is, if you don't want to come here again to farm the resources, you can actually forge the ball scales for like 2000 something is very cheap at the checkpoint rest town and that they will work just as the real one so it's not going to be a fake version that doesn't work that's another option if you don't want to farm them and after you clear them out there's going to be another seekers token in just in the corner so make sure to pick that up and finally we want to go to this chest at the very end that will give you the Cyclopean Thunder. It is a weapon for the warrior and I think it is a really good weapon, like one of the best ones in the game that you can get before you reach the end. It gives you 150% in lighting elemental damage. I mean, that is, that is quite a lot. Definitely a very good pickup. And that is it for this cave. So now we're gonna go further up to our final cave. It's just a little bit further north and you can just follow the river until you see campsite and the entrance to the cave is going to be just there. The location is called the tomb of Argutos, Argatos, Argatos, I don't know. There's going to be a lot of enemies. There's going to be another seeker's token. So don't forget to pick that up. A couple of chests, you know, just regular chests here and there. Take your time, explore the cave. You will encounter a skeleton lord. Once you kill him, he will drop Fur Lord's Bone, another very rare resource. So you want to definitely get this. And uh, there's a chance that he might be next to the final boss instead of just for me. The guy was walking around, so I was able to just kill him 
uh, independently away from the final boss. Once you reach at the very end, you're going to have the final boss. Again, the ricochet arrows makes it so much easier. And this boss is going to be dropping quite a few things. First is going to be the enigmatic rope. I think it is one of the sexiest armors in the game. Well, maybe not so much on a male character. Unfortunately, it is only available for the trickster vocation. Of course, it is available for the warfare. A little bit of a letdown there that only the trickster gets it. You also get some resources as well and a ring. And finally, don't forget, there is this chest right in the corner and there is this trickster armor. It is the visionary's mask. Pretty cool. It's pretty, pretty aggressive looking. So definitely don't forget to pick that up as well. There you have it. Three locations with really good quality items that you can get all in one go. All right. I hope this was helpful. Thank you all for watching. Enjoy the game. Have fun. And I'll see you all in the next video.